This is Dr. Lanceris from 360WoundCare.com and today I'm going to demonstrate the tuning fork test. This test is performed with a 128 hertz tuning fork. Uh, the tuning fork test is another simple, inexpensive test that we can use for loss of protective sensation when examining the diabetic foot. It's a very simple test. This tuning fork typically costs about three or four dollars. The test is very sensitive and it's actually a little bit more sensitive than a monofilament test when looking for early loss of protective sensation. Vibration sensation tends to be one of the first sensations that's lost. So this is the ideal test for picking up on neuropathy that sometimes is missed by monofilament testing. Uh, vibration sensation when it's lost can also be an indicator not only of diabetic peripheral neuropathy but it can also be an indicator of alcoholism, posterior column disease, syphilis, and vitamin B12 deficiency. So these should be in the differential diagnosis when you're uh, when you're looking at this test. The test is very easy to perform. What you want to do is start vibrating the tuning fork by hitting it against the palm of your hand hard enough that it vibrates on its own for about 30 to 40 seconds at a time. You don't want to hit it much harder than that. Before you start the test, you want the patient to understand the sensation of vibration. And what we'll typically do with this is apply it either to the sternum, uh, this can also be applied on the arm, just so that they understand what the vibration feels like. What we'll then do is we'll start the tuning fork and then place it at a bony prominence in the foot, typically down here right below the base of the toenail is the most common place we'll start with. And what we'll first do is ask the patient to notice if they're experiencing any vibration and then stop the tuning fork, suppressing the vibration, and ask the patient to identify if they've noticed the vibration stop. What you want to do, obviously, is to have the patient have their eyes closed so they don't see what's happening with the test. If you find loss of vibration sensation at this particular point, then the next thing you can do is move up the foot, going on the dorsal surface of the foot, the malleolus, and as high up as the patella if necessary. This is a very effective, reproducible, and very cost-effective and inexpensive test to perform to assess a patient for diabetic peripheral neuropathy.